walk leaving anyway. I thought I'd come down the heights. See what I could see. It's not the best of days. It's not even really weather for ducks, but there are some ducks here. Quite a lot of widgeon cutting about as well, whistling away. Two nice big mute swans. Glasses steam up, by the way. Hazard of masks and cold air from the hide. Anyway, I am not here just to have a look and see what winter wildfowl are about. Uh, there's a problem that a lot of these birds are facing that I want to talk to you about. So I found a wee sheltery spot and the thing that we want to talk to you about is avian influenza. Uh, we are in the midst of what we're coming to realise is an, an unprecedented uh, outbreak of the disease and it is affecting migratory wild birds uh, very severely. So for my colleagues down on the Solway coast, the estimate is that thousands of the Svalbard barnacle geese uh, have died. The estimate at the time that I'm filming this is that between three to 4,000 birds have died. And that represents 10% of the global population of Svalbard barnacle geese. We are doing everything that we can in reserves to recover birds where it's safe, uh, send them for testing so that we can find out more about this disease. Uh, but there are things that you can do. The most important is if you see dead birds, please don't touch them. You can report them and there's information on the RSBB website about how to do that. Please also make sure that your pets don't touch or recover those dead birds. The other main thing that you can do is that you can really focus on hygiene when it comes to any bird feeding that you're doing. And that means cleaning feeders once a week. It means changing out bathing and drinking water for birds every day. And if you see dead birds, around your feeders, please stop feeding. This time of year is the time of year that we look forward to seeing geese and wildfowl. And the reason we see them is because we are part of their global life. And this is a complicated global problem. The disease can be spread by wild birds. It can also be spread by domesticated poultry. Um, it can be spread from one side of the world to the other. But like a lot of these big global problems, they may seem very difficult to deal with, but there are at least those simple things that we can all do to help try and make sure that this outbreak doesn't have to be any worse than it already is.